The biggest mistake doctors make with specialty lens fitting is overcomplicating it. When many doctors first start fitting specialty lenses, they can feel overwhelmed by all the variables. It can seem like every patient needs a completely different approach. But over the years, we've developed a systematic process that takes the guesswork out of fitting. Think of it like choosing the right shoe size. You wouldn't want to try to give everyone a size 8, right? So today I'm going to walk you through our straightforward step-by-step -step approach that has helped many doctors consistently achieve great fits with less chair time. Before we dive in, let me share something interesting. Last month, we talked with a doctor who was spending an average to four to five visits per specialty lens patient. After implementing this system, he is now successfully fitting in just one to two visits. The difference? having a systematic approach that eliminates the guesswork. Let me show you exactly how this works. Step one, understanding lens design. Before we dive into the fitting process, let's talk about some approaches that often fail. Many specialty lens designs try to fit every eye with limited diameters. Imagine trying to fit everyone in the world in just two shoe sizes. It simply doesn't work. Our approach is different because we are recognized that eyes, like feet, come in different sizes. This fundamental understanding is what makes our systematic approach so effective. Step two, diameter selection, the foundation. Let me walk you through the first and most crucial decision during a trial fitting. It's choosing the right diameter lens. It immediately narrows down all of your options. So here is our simple rule. For corneal diameters less than 11.8 millimeters or an HVID, use our 15.9 millimeter lens. For larger corneas, use the 16.4 millimeter lens. This one decision immediately narrows your diagnostic set from 12 lenses now down to six. Now, you might be thinking, but hey, what about the K values? So here's the key. By starting with the right diameter, you will have a better performing lens from the beginning. Too large of lenses can often decenter dramatically and too small of lenses will run the risk of a limbal touch. Step three, the height assessment. Once you've selected your diameter, the next step is choosing the right base curve. You don't need to overcomplicate this. Simply look at the patient's eye and the profile from the side. You're looking for basically three different profiles, a very flat cornea, an average cornea, or something that is very steep. Let me show you exactly what to look for. For flat corneas, you'll notice minimal protrusion on the scleral plane. For average corneas, you'll see moderate elevation, somewhat sticking out, right? For steep corneas, you'll see and observe significant protrusion. This quick assessment tells you which diagnostic lens to start with. It's really that simple. Flatter eyes use the flatter base curves. Steeper corneas, we're definitely gonna use the steeper ones. Something in the middle, that 750 base curve is a great first lens to start with. Section four, the perfect application. Now let's talk about something often overlooked, proper lens application for the assessment. Here is our foolproof method. Step one, you really wanna fill the bowl of the contact lens completely with a preservative-free saline, like a big snow cone. Add a few drops of fluorescein. You really could never have enough. Have the patient look directly down at their shoes or parallel to the floor. Bring the lens up directly on the eye from below. If you see any air bubbles, you need to remove the lens and reapply. This step is crucial for an accurate assessment. Step five, evaluating the fit when the lens is properly applied. We're looking for two key measurements. What is the central clearance? So what is the vault over the steepest area of the cornea? And what we're aiming for is about 250 to 300 microns at that point. How is our limbal clearance? Use our laser etched indicators, mostly look at the temporal side. Let me tell you why these measurements matter. Central vault ensures proper vaulting over the cornea. Limbal clearance protects the crucial area of the stem cells at the limbus. If adjustments are needed, our diagnostic set makes it simple. Each lens is marked with its sagittal depth, so you can easily move up or down in 150 micron increments 
you do not have to use another diagnostic lens. You can simply let us know that information. For example, I use the 750 base curve. Please add 100 microns of central vault or decrease central vault by 150 microns. You don't have to put on another trial lens. Step six, fine tuning the fit. Once you have the right diameter and clearance, you may need to make minor adjustments. Our lenses feature a grid system that helps you check for lens centration, evaluate the rotation of the lens, assess any movement or edge alignment, and this grid system takes the guesswork out of determining if your lens is properly centered over the pupil. Step seven, special considerations. Let's address some of the common challenges. Whether you're dealing with a post-surgical cornea, a patient with keratoconus, irregular astigmatism, each of these conditions might require slight modifications to our basic approach, but the system still remains the same. Step eight, the power of multifocal options for presbyopic patients. At Aculens, we offer multifocal options that can be incorporated once you've achieved the perfect fit. The grid system makes it easy to ensure proper centration over the optical zones and the visual access. We can offset these. We also have many different types of multifocals, and please ask your consultation representative. The key to efficient specialty lens fitting isn't having dozens of diagnostic lenses or complex calculations. It's following a systematic approach that eliminates guesswork. Remember, the goal isn't just to fit a lens, it's to transform lives through better vision. This systematic approach allows you to do just that and efficiently and consistently. In our next video, I'll show you exactly how to handle the most challenging cases using the same principles. Don't forget to subscribe and comment guide below for our complete staff training manual. Before we wrap up, let me share one final thought. The most successful specialty lens practice aren't necessarily the ones with the most experience, they're the ones with the most systematic approach. This system works because it eliminates variables and provides clear decision points at every step. Thank you for watching.